This is for the uh, washing machine. Our laundry's building up. So, I'll get installing. Hang tight. Separate the uh, drain pump from the uh, pump housing. I loosened it up already. Here we go. There's your problem. It looked like this metal rod right there broke off. And that's the reason why it's no longer working. This is the new pump, drain pump. Uh, and this is the old one. And uh, you need to take out this plastic housing from the old one and put it on a new one. And a way to remove it, just a couple of clips right there. And that should just come off. There it is. There's the old one. Next, put in the new pump into the uh, plastic housing. That snapped in easily. Connect this to the drain pump housing or pump housing. For orientation, you need to put screws right here, right here, and at the bottom. Just like that. Press it down. There you go. And that's the orientation. Should be tight and snug. Don't tighten up all the way. So you want to do it slowly and evenly. Here you go. Not so tight. Not so tight. Not so tight. And finally, you could tighten it up now. You do not want to over crank. This is plastic after all. You don't want to have a little play on there. Just enough. Hand tightened. There you go. Beautiful. Let's put it back on the machine. We got the entire pump assembly right here. Before you slide it in, first thing you need to do is to reconnect the drain hose. There you go. And while you're at it, go ahead and feed, feed it through this hole. Next, put back the power. The brown one should go at the bottom. And the black one goes on top. Now, I'm ready to feed this in. Go ahead and reattach the cable right there. Now you're ready to slide it in. We attach the entire pump housing right there. Slide it. And that's in place. Put the two screws back on. Don't forget, it's plastic. Do not over tighten it. A quick review. Cable is right there, reattached. Brown's at the bottom, black on top. Drain hose connected underneath the uh, pump housing and fed through this hole. It's time to reattach the hoses. One right there. Let's go ahead and apply the clamp. There you go. Here it is. Prep to go. Slide it in.
push it all the way in. And there you go. That's in. Time to put the cover back on. Put it in an angle. Like that. Once you get the bottom lined up, reattach the door cables. There it is. Don't over tighten. Just put it in there. Not snug yet. Till you get everything together. Pull it out. See this groove right here? It's like a V and it's like a catch. So all you have to do is this groove right here, tuck them in right there. There you go. This thing. That's tight. That's perfect. Now, you need to put this on just behind it. Right there. Make sure that this spring is at the bottom. We had to do a uh, improvised tool to separate them. I had my wife yank this and I attached this tool on this side and we separated them to create that, uh, to loosen it up. This is a very tight fit and now it's time to take off this other side but this is how we managed to put it on right there. Go underneath. That was the hardest part, separating the spring using the two tools right here. She held on that side, I held on on this side. We pulled and now we got it installed. Now it's time to um, tighten the screws. There you go, one, two, and five. Time to put this on. There you go. Two screws. That's one. And two. Time to put back this thing. If you want, tie this up as it was. Then, there's tabs right there. Just insert them in. There you go. Put this back. Put the screw back on, right hand side of the washer. Put the cover back on, top cover. And it just slides back. Hey Cara. Yeah, it's working. How about that? Another successful project.
Thanks for watching, yo.